So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us learn about rectangle, square, and rhombus. What is a rectangle? Rectangle, it is a parallelogram with four right angles. So that is angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. How about rhombus? Rhombus, it is a parallelogram with four congruent sides but no right angle. The congruent sides, that is line segment AB, it is congruent to line segment BC, it is congruent to line segment CD, and it is congruent to line segment DA, but no right angle. How about square? Square, it is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four right angles. The four congruent side, that is line segment AB, it is congruent to line segment BC, it is congruent to line segment CD, it is congruent to line segment DA. And four right angles, that is angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. So let us solve the rectangle BOWL. So diagonals are congruent. So line segment BW, it is congruent to line segment OL. So it means if the measurement of the line segment BW that is equal to 10 cm, find the measurement of the line segment LO. So line segment LO that is equal to 10 cm because diagonals are congruent. How about example number one in a rectangle? If line segment BW equals 4x plus 7 cm and line segment LO that is equal to 13 plus x cm, find the value of line segment BW and line segment LO. So how to solve that diagonals? Those diagonals are congruent. So it means line segment BW equals line segment LO. Let us copy the value of line segment BW that is 4x plus 7 and then line segment LO that is 13 plus x. So let us combine like terms. Let us combine x and the number. So bring down 4x. Move x to the left side that becomes negative x. Bring down 13 and then move 7 on the right side that becomes negative 7. 4x minus x that is positive 3x. 13 minus 7, subtract, that is positive 6. If we divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x, that is equal to 3. 3 divided by 3, that is equal to 1x. And then 6 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 2. So the value of x is equal to 2. Let us write the unit that is 2 centimeter. Line segment BW, it is equal to 4x plus 7. So it means, let us replace the value of x by 2. So 4 times 2 plus 7. 4 times 2, that is equal to 8 plus 7. The answer is equal to 15. And then the unit, that is centimeter. So line segment BW, that is equal to 15 centimeter. How about the line segment LO? So line segment LO, that is 13 plus X. So if we check, line segment LO, it is equal to 13 plus 2. 13 plus 2, that is equal to 15. The unit is centimeter. So it means line segment BW is 15 and line segment LO, that is 15 centimeter. So as you observe, Line segment BW, it is congruent to line segment LO. So if line segment BW is 15, without solving line segment LO, that is also equal to 15 centimeter.
In a rectangle GUIN, if line segment GU equals 8x minus 13 cm and line segment NI equals 7x plus 11 cm, find the value of x, line segment GU, and line segment NI. So to be able to solve for the value of x, so let us see, opposite sides are congruent. So it means line segment GU, it is congruent to line segment NI. So GU equals ni. The given for line segment JO equals 8x minus 13, while line segment ni equals 7x plus 11. Let us combine like terms, so bring down 8x, move 7x on the left side, that becomes negative 7x equals, bring down 11, move negative 13 on the right side, that becomes positive 13. 8x minus 7x, that is positive x, 11 plus 13, that is equal to 24. Copy the unit, that is centimeter. So let us find now the line segment JO. So line segment JO equals 8x minus 13. Let us replace the value of x by 24. So that becomes 8 times 24 minus 13. First, we need to multiply 8 times 24. The answer is 192 minus 13. If we subtract 192 minus 13, the answer is equal to 179 centimeter. So line segment JO equals 179 centimeter. If line segment JO equals 179 centimeter, so opposite sides are congruent. So it means line segment NI, it is also equal to 179 centimeter. So whatever is the value of the line segment JO equals to the value of the line segment NI. Math is a rhombus. Find the value of X, the measure of the angle MHT, Y, line segment MA, and line segment AB. The given line segment MA, that is 2Y plus 3, line segment AB, that is 5Y minus 6, the measure of the angle M, that is X degree, the measure of the angle H, that is the quantity 2x plus 30 degrees. So let us identify the value of x. So let us get the measure of the angle M plus the measure of the angle H, that is equal to 180 degrees because two consecutive angles are supplementary. So the measure of the angle M, that is x degree, while the measure of the angle H, that is the quantity 2x plus 30 degrees, and then copy 180 degrees. Let us combine like terms. So, x degree, or i-omit na natin yung mga degree para mas madali natin masolve. So, x, and then copy 2x, is equal to 180, positive 30, going to the right side, that becomes negative 30. 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3x. 180 minus 30, that is equal to 150. To be able to solve for the value of x, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x that is equal to 3. 3 divided by 3, that is 1x, and 150 divided by 3, that is equal to 50. So the value of x is equal to 50. How about the measure of the angle MHT? So this is MHT. So the angle MHT, that is the quantity 2x plus 30 degrees. So let us replace the value of x by 50. So that becomes 2 times 50 plus 30. 2 times 50, that is equal to 100 plus 30. So if we add 100 plus 30, that is equal to 130 degrees. So the measure of the angle MHT, that is equal to 130 degrees degrees. So right now, let us solve for the value of y. All sides are congruent. First, we need to get the value for the line segment AP. It is equal to line segment MA. All sides are congruent for the rhombus. The line segment AP, that is equal to 5y minus 6. The line segment MA, that is 2y plus 3. So let us combine all y's and then whole number. So copy 5y, move 2y to the left side, that becomes negative 2y, and then bring down 3, 
negative 6 move to the right side, that becomes positive 6. 5 minus 2, that is 3, copy y. 3 plus 6, that is equal to 9. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of y, that is equal to 3. 3 divided by 3, that is equal to y, and then 9 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 3. So the value of y is equal to 3. Let us replace the value of y to the given of the line segment MA, that is 2y plus 3. Let us replace y by 3, so that becomes 2 times 3 plus 3. 2 times 3, that is 6 plus 3, so the line segment MA, that is equal to 9. So this one, line segment MA, that is equal to 9. Also, what could be the value of the line segment AP? So the line segment AP, that is also equal to 9 because the sides of a rhombus are congruent. So if you want to try to check, line segment AP, it is equal to 5y minus 6. So that becomes 5 times 3 minus 6. 5 times 3, that is equal to 15 minus 6. The answer is equal to 9. So as you can see, line segment MA, that is equal to 9. Also, the line segment AP, that is equal to B is a square, find the value of x. So all angles are congruent. So it means the value of the angles are equal to 90 degrees. So it means this angle A that is equal to 90 degrees. So 5x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So umint na natin yung degrees para mas madali nating mas hold. So let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x that is equal to 5. 5 divided by 5, that is 1x. And then 90 divided by 5, that is equal to 18. So the value of x, that is equal to 18. How about example number 5? Late is a square. Find the value of y. So this square... So the value or the given line segment LA that is 2Y, line segment AP that is equal to Y plus 2. All sides are congruent. So it means line segment LA, it is equal to line segment AP. So the value of the line segment LA that is 2Y, the line segment AP that is Y plus 2. Let us solve for the value of Y. So bring down 2Y. Move y to the left side, that becomes negative y. Bring down 2. 2 minus 1, that is 1y. And then copy positive 2. So the value of y is equal to 2. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.